my name is Miranda and today I'm here to react to episode three of season two of Shadow and Bone. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen now that Alina already has the second amplifier. I mentioned this in my reaction to the second episode but I'm so shocked by the pace of some of this stuff and just how things that I thought specifically would be taking a lot longer in the season have already happened. Like I could totally have seen it being that the whole season or the majority of the season for Alina was spent trying to find the sea whip and for them to have found it already and and have it amplified into her and her seemingly kind of be able to control it I think is really uh amazing <laughs> and I think it makes sense because I do know that they are combining like elements from book two and book three so it makes sense that things are gonna be moving a little bit faster but I appreciate it because I just think it makes it so it feels more like she's getting some wins you know like it's not just like loss and then you know Darkling comes and then she really doesn't get any wins till the end of the season like I like that she's already kind of making allies getting the things done on her list we love an efficient queen right we love someone that just gets done all the stuff that they have to do and I'm I'm excited speaking of getting stuff done um Kaz is also on his way the ambush last episode was quite stressful if I have to say so myself but I have a feeling that this is just going to motivate him even more to get back at Rollins and I don't want to be Rollins in that case I never want to be Rollins but especially if Kaz is like not loving me so yeah we shall see what happens but I'm excited to check it out so yeah let's get into it <laughs> were they just waiting <laughs> that was so fast the way they were just like yep yeah, sir on it wait that is so cool Cool. They have a boat in the boat, or I guess not even, what do you call it? What's the technical word? A dirigible? A right? Like a, a blimp <laughs> in the thing? That's so cool. Oh, Mal's got her. He's like, come on, you don't want to miss this. I love that they get to experience this stuff together. Like, it just makes me so dang happy to see them, like, smiling and laughing together. Because this is their dream, right? Is to travel the world together and see different things. See things outside of Ravka and see them in different ways. Wait, they're already at the fold? He wasn't kidding when he said he could get them there fast. Did you see that? Oh, Wylan. He's just being his cute little Wylan self, and he doesn't know that that's a major trigger. I mean, none of them know that that's a major trigger for Kaz, because he doesn't like to share his emotional self with them. I do kind of like that Jesper's like, dude, like, you've got to let us in, because, like, this is getting ridiculous. That, like, we're all getting hurt in ambush, and, like, we don't even know technically what it's for, because it's like a blood feud without them knowing what the price is, you know? Don't pick on Wylan. Burning facts is his love language, and it's not his fault that he didn't know that that upset you. That's it? Okay, cool. <laughs> the way he's like, you're not leaving? I love their relationship. I saw an edit of their, like, some of the stuff of their relationship, and it's just so funny how, like, she pushes his buttons like no one else, but he is also, like, highly, like, impressed and amused by her, and I love it. Mm -hmm. I love his mom like I don't know what she was like in the books but like I just love how it's like he's this scary like man but like when it all kind of boils down to is like he just wants to impress his mommy right like I think that's so funny and like she's just clearly like even locked up in a cage I feel like she so clearly has the upper hand on him and I just love to see that he's so nervous for her oh my gosh it's like, obviously he wants the full gone, but not at the cost of her life. That's kind of what he was saying before, was like, I want to help you, but I don't want you to get hurt in the process. Uh-oh. I was kind of worried if, like, the connection would start to affect her powers or not. Oh, the poor thing. I mean, part of it, too, I feel like is it's probably a mental block, right? Like, all the abuse she suffered at his hands and also being told, like, her power is only because of him or strong because of him and like really like he wants to control it and shape it in his own image and like just someone like physically like it is power but also just like the metaphor of someone like he took away her literal power and her metaphorical power and agency to feel like she can do this on her own you know no I love that he's like grounding her you know 
it's like the difference in them how one causes fear and one causes like just calm I really hope the love triangle is done for now I've never shipped her with the darkling but like I hope that love triangle is done for now and people can see that like he it was an abusive relationship you know I feel like there's a lot of like relationships that like were from books of like that time period when Shadow and Bone came out where it was like people were shipping them and then you look back and you're like oh that was not the best relationship right gosh this is such a good like if you this is another thing I would love to experience without knowing like the twist I would be freaking out Nikolai there he is oh my god I would be freaking out I'm telling I am freaking out but like I can just I'm just picturing people who didn't know being like what the heck and literally the only Nicola that I really knew was in um King of Scars and He's not the same Niccolo, I will say that. Definitely the vibe. Like, it's there, but, like, he went through a lot of trauma between now and then. So it's interesting to see, I feel like, a more carefree version of him. <laughs> oh my gosh, your guy comes back, your, like, lost second prince that you thought was dead, and the first thing you see is him get punched in the face by the person that's supposed to save the fold. That's quite funny, I have to say. I mean, you kind of had it coming, you gotta be honest. You can't expect her to just take that lying down, just roll with that. <laughs> I love that that upsets him so much. He's like, a privateer, I had a license. I mean, I fully get where he's coming from. Like, he's like, I couldn't do much. All I could go was like, at parties and like, kind of try political alliances, but like, his brother would stop anything there and then. So I feel like, you know, it makes sense that he's like, I wanted to go into hiding and kind of be able to do the things that I wouldn't be able to if I was like seen as the prince. I still can't believe that. That's so funny to me. It's like the way it's all interconnected is very cool. Here comes Zoya. <laughs> Getting to see Zoya and Nicola maybe share like even just a little bit of screen time is gonna be really cool. I'm excited, just like the hints. It's always cool when like you've got all this book lore to draw on, but it's like your characters are so far back from where all the books go that you can start already planting the seeds of that if you want to, and I hope they want to. I feel like that's especially important coming from Zoya. Mm hmm I want their friendship to develop so much because like last season sucked how like they were just constantly fighting and like not on the same side, but I feel like they can be great friends and allies for each other. And it'll just be so great. And I'm excited to see it. Yeah. I wasn't sure about Zoya. She was though, I think just because she was so different from how I was used to her in the first season, like, you know, in terms of character wise, because obviously she goes through a lot of progression and stuff. But I do feel like she's a really good Zoya. Like, I feel like her lines and everything, she just has that, like, leader capability. The face. He's like, please, no. I love how he's already started to wisen up. He's like, we're, we're going in there, aren't we? And he's like, eh, maybe. I just, I, I said it last time, I love that Wylan and Jesper are constantly paired up. It's so funny to me. And I like to imagine that, like, Kaz knew about, like, their whole stuff and, like, was like... Wylan would be great for my buddy Jesper, and I'm gonna set them up. <laughs> like, I think that would be so cute and funny. Daddy? Who's daddy? Not a sentence I really wanted to say. Oh gosh, how are they gonna explain their way out of this one? See? I know it's hard to open up, but like, she'll understand. See? That's literally all she needed, was just the reasoning. That's all she wanted, was for you to open up and trust her. It's just like if you know how hard touch is with him like this it just makes the scene all the more intimate and special like he won't do this for just anyone in fact she's probably the only person he would do it for oh my gosh this is like straight from the books too right like him patching her up like i feel like i've seen fan art of the scene before and i'm just like they are just too good guys like i am so in love with them they're just amazing. Gosh, I don't know what it is about this season, but like the fight scenes to me seem like on another level. Like they were always good, but like I feel like they're just so, so good this season. 
feel like this show has also taught me like I've never really thought about it before but like a big part of fighting like is being able to take a punch <laughs> between like Kaz and Mal like seeing it like that's the important thing of like not being like just knocked out within the first try he's literally so hot <laughs> like there are a few Kaz's I love more than like pissed off battle ready Kaz he's just like oh he's so good Freddy as Kaz Yeah, that's true because he won't, yeah, I was going to say he won't know like when he's really hurt. So that's, ugh, I love that Kaz was able to help her. Ooh, that's definitely going to stick him down. That's so, bleh. I'm so glad that she got rid of this guy though already. Like, you come after her, you don't last long. Here it comes. Here it comes, guys. <laughs> Here's where my Mal and Alina, like, shipping heart has a very big hard thigh with what's coming. Mal is like, excuse me, no, 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 no. I mean, if they just get engaged and don't actually get married, then, like, I don't see a problem with that, you know? He knows her so well. You're more than enough. Like, you're the tracker. You found the stag for her. You helped find the sea whip. Like, you're- I feel like he doesn't think he's good enough for her sometimes because it's like, how do you compare to that? But I feel like he doesn't understand that sometimes you just- when you're someone as powerful and like everyone sees you as special as that, sometimes you just need- like, you need your person and the fact that they make you feel just normal is a power in itself. Oh, I'm so sad. And, like, it's just gonna break my heart if they have to stay apart now because of this. Like, again, it's for the good of the country and, like, good on Mal for being like, hey, like, it's for the good of the country, but, like, it still makes me sad. That's why we love him. He's not telling her one way or another. And, like, I just, I love that he lets her lead, you know? Like, he talks about his feelings, he considers his feelings, like, he doesn't just tamper them down. He gives his opinion, but then he's like, it's your choice because at the end of the day, you're the one doing it. And I just, we love him. We love him so much. Like, he's just everything. The little lean-in, come on. That is so funny. He's like, are you worried about me? They're so cute. I, he's such a good one, Island. I had my doubts, honestly, like I said, and he's just so good. Oh, gosh. Look at Wylan looking between them, like, <laughs> the parents are fighting. He's like, don't say it, don't say it. I feel like that's foreshadowing, um, definitely. I wonder if that'll come out this season or not, but I feel like that is most absolutely definitely foreshadowing and it's interesting because I would assume at this point that Kaz knows the secret about Wylan so hearing him say that I think would mean like he would understand like doubly what it means for Wylan and why Wylan like relates so much to that <laughs> with the smile on his face too the smirk of like suffering if I'm Wylan I'm like Yay! Replaying back in your head what Jesper was saying about, are you sure you want to be a part of this? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm not leaving. Now you're like, oh dear. Gosh, poor Nina. Poor both of them, but like, just poor Nina too. Is he gonna see her? I mean, he's gonna be pissed if he does see her, so I feel like he's just gonna spit at her, if anything. Wow, no reaction. Interesting. <gasps> Oh, no, 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 no. I was wondering if he saw it. Like, he definitely recognized her because he was there. No. No. What is she going to do? Because she can't, like... It's not like, oh, I'll free him if you bring me Kaz. He's literally like, Matthias is dying if you don't bring me Kaz. Like, there's no win for her in this situation. He was so cold. I don't know if he even really, like... Maybe he thought that was still... You know how he's like, oh, he's been, like picturing her maybe he thinks that like that's not really even her because why would he ever expect like to him like she was playing him for a fool like why would he expect her to show up and care oh my gosh please just leave her alone the poor old girl can't sleep without any of this and it's just like that's i'm the manipulation of, like i know you i know that like you're gonna end up alone i'm the only one that can help you like he's trying to isolate her and it's just like classic manipulation 
Like, no one can look at this and tell me that this is supposed to be romantic. This is creepy. Like, he's invading her dreams. He's not giving her any agency or autonomy. And, like, he's full on saying that, like, yeah, I know what's best for you. Like, listen to me. Like, there's no point in even trying, you know? Just come. It's like, look. Of course, that's how he sleeps. It's just how I picture. I kind of thought that she was going to Mal for a second. And I was like, that was really sweet. Because part of me was like, wait, why don't her and Mal just like sleep together anyway? But then I saw the door and I was like, there's no way they gave Mal that fancy of a room. <laughs> like that just immediately bumped me out. But I'm excited because I do feel like, you know, things are getting moving. What I'm not looking forward to is this reunion between her and the Darkling that they're clearly setting up. But I feel like it has to happen because she has to be able to see that like she can have her power on her own. I don't even think she expects to be reliant on him. But it's like when you had someone tell you and feed you the line of like, you know, your power is mine. Like you only do what I say you do. Like that obviously starts to affect you. And I feel like any little slip up or mistake she has, she can start to attribute to that like how Zoya was like you know like that's not something you need to feel bad for that's guilt that he instilled in you I feel like it's that kind of stuff where Alina recognizes like the manipulation and the abuse but like she still it does just because you see it doesn't mean like oh it's suddenly all better like she still has to make peace and see that she's strong on her own and doesn't need him and that what he was saying was completely and irrevocably wrong and there's no like she just needs to best him and I'm so so excited for that moment even though I'm not excited for her probably inevitably like getting like kidnapped by him or something you know because he wants her back like I feel like that's gonna be his ultimate downfall is not being able to let her go because I think it's gonna spur her even more to move quicker and train faster and all that and I'm excited to see it so yeah if you have seen this episode please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down in the comments also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time bye